Hello everyone, it's DA here, hope you guys are doing great, hope you are doing fantastic. Today's state of the game for Division 2 covered a lot of things, including future sustainable and replayable content for the game. Just know that there are going to be more replayable high level content coming for PvE. In terms of title update 10 and the PTS, the developers confirmed that there will be a phase 3 of the test server. The reason for this is because Foundry Bulwark was an issue in PvP. A lot of people couldn't test out other builds because they were going against Bulwark users and those people just wouldn't die. So that specific gear will also be getting some tuning and some nerfs for PvP. And the part 3 of the PTS will give us more time for further testing. This also means title update 10 could come towards the end of June. So let's talk more on PvP and exotics. The developers confirmed that the 75 bleed effect nerf to hives, seekers and mortar turrets will be staying. However, they also said that they will be buffing these skills by 75%. This is something that is meant to balance it out. You may no longer bleed to death, but the initial spike from those skills might kill you. As far as exotics go, Chameleon, Eagle Bearer, Bighorn are getting a buff. The Eagle Bearer will be getting an 8% buff, Bighorn will be getting 11% buff, and the Chameleon will be getting a 33% buff. They also say that they are looking at more exotics and will buff them accordingly. If I could make any suggestions to the developers, Lady Death and Chatterbox needs a buff and its talent needs some tuning as well. These two weapons are being outclassed by non-exotic SMGs, and as far as the new exotic raid rifle goes, I think that one needs a change to its primer and detonator mode. Change it to something else instead of just swapping shoulders. If you use a crusader shield, you cannot swap shoulders, and the swapping shoulder effect also makes a lot of people dizzy. Please, you gotta do something about us. Anyways, that is going to be every important thing that you need to know when it comes to today's state of the game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.